The over 100 residents that attended the Township of Leeds and Thousand Islands Council meeting Monday night had very few answers when they left the meeting later in the night, but did get one answer they were not expecting courtesy of Councillor Velma Kelsey. Residents from Seeley's Bay and Lyndhurst arrived on a charter bus Monday night with signs determined to be heard by Council. The packed Council chamber was standing room only, which spilled out into the foyer of the Municipal Centre in Lansdowne last night, where residents listened as Lyndhurst resident Mary Ellen Moulton spoke on behalf of a delegation of Leeds and Thousand Islands residents, asking councillors to explain their recent dismissal of CAO Malcolm Morris and to reinstate Morris as CAO. A resolution was developed and supported by a majority of those attending. The resolution states, The treatment of the CAO is appalling and a real negative impact on this municipality. We hereby petition the Council of the Corporation of the Leeds and Thousand Islands to approve a motion to reconsider the termination of Mr. Malcolm Morris, the former CAO. That was moved by Harold Tolk, seconded by Kai Liu. Moulton also gave Council a list of 10 questions that she and her fellow residents had compiled during a March 6th meeting in Lyndhurst and a March 13th meeting in Lansdowne, including disclosure of the vote tally at the in-camera meeting held on February 24th. Were minutes taken at the in-camera meeting of February 24th? Are the minutes of the February 24th in-camera meeting available to me? Does the Township of Leeds and the Thousand Islands have a procedure by law rule concerning closed meetings? What is the procedure by law rule, and was it followed for the meeting on February 24th? Did Council as a whole have any discussions about the CAO's performance or duties prior to February 24th? Did Council as a whole request a legal opinion for the meeting of February 24th? Who received the legal opinion from the lawyer? Who was the lawyer? How was this opinion de delivered to the February 24th meeting? When was the agenda for the meeting of February 24th posted on the website? Was any other means used to inform the public of this special meeting? Was the vote unanimous? If not, what was the vote in numbers? The resolution gave Township Council 30 days to issue a written response to the 10 questions. The surprise of the night, though, was just after Moulton finished her presentation when Councillor Kelsey made a motion to reinstate Morris. At this point, I'd like to make a motion to reinstate Mr. Morris, and I'd like a re recorded vote. Do I have a seconder? It's just to put it on the floor. Yeah, I need, I still need a second, so there's nothing forward then. I will rephrase that. What, Mr. Mayor, what was the vote? The vote was in camera, you know, as well no. as I do. No, no. no. It was, we it we was, sound it out of camera. It was uh, six to one. There's seven sitting at this table, it was six to one, and my vote was no. The delegation now waits for 30 days for a response to the other nine questions from Township Council. Dale Elliott, BNTV News, Lansdowne.